Okay, yeah, I really like this one. This one is like really, really fun. And um, it's because it's all thinking. There's very little um, computation involved. Um, it's all just you asking yourself or that me showing you, well, what, what is it that's going on here, right? What's going on? And um, in this case, I mean, the reason why we're doing it that way is because I'm not going to give you any sort of um, value for anything you just got to figure things out or uh, you know I'm just going to figure things out just by a fairly abstract and simple description right um, so I'm gonna have three vectors all right and they're going to be depict depicted over here I'm going to draw them we're just going to have these sort of um, general drawings because it's because Anything, anything that meets these uh, criteria is going to actually have the same sort of um, the same s sort of solution. So it's it's going to be really, really general. It's going to be fun, and then we're going to need to find um, one of them that we're going to call X in terms of the other one. So the other ones are going to be um, I don't know A and B. Let's go ahead and just call these A, B, and X. Okay, so life is good. So in a good, good life, we can just start by drawing some stuff and see where we end up, right? So let's have um, that be one vector, that be another vector. Um, maybe call this one A, this one B. And then from here to here, moving up like that, that's going to be our X, okay? And then this point here is uh, one third of the magnitude, okay? Of um, X. So this span is one third of the magnitude of X another span and then another span and then we're at the end of the vector okay so that looks like a lot of fun don't you think that looks like a lot of fun we just figure out figure this out we just use our brains and brains are fun to use right um, even and use brains are fun too so I mean it's not just that they're fun to use but if you get a, if you ever get a used brain they are just a blast so so use it um, as best you can um, so let's see, what are we going to have to do? Um, well, what we probably ought to do is we probably ought to just figure out what this sort of vector is here. Because if we figure out about this vector, right, we can scale it. Remember last time we did some scaling things, and that'll, since it's parallel, it'll end up being the same size. And we actually have a relationship. So, um... Let's find the uh, the um, vector m. So this sort of midpoint vector m. I guess not midpoint, but um, magnitude one third of magnitude vector m. Uh, in terms of a and b. Sounds good to me. All right, and then what do we do? Oh, uh, well, two, let's find um, M in terms of X. So I said there's just a scaling rela re relationship. What is that scaling relationship? Well, it's pretty obvious, but we do that and bang, we get everything we need, right? And um, then three, we just solve for X. Aren't we just amazing? I, um, I guess another way to say that is we eliminate M. So M isn't something that we're really given. We, we know a little bit about it, but we, we're not really given it. We know uh, mostly these two guys. So that's not really one of our givens, so we don't really want it in our answer. We want the answer to be in terms of our givens when we get there, right? 
Okay, so the vector, this guy, right? That's a minus b, right? a minus b is that thing. So, um, I think that's a pretty nice thing to look at. a minus b from the tip, so the from the tip of here to the tip of there. From the tip of b to a, that's the difference. From the tip of B to the tip of A is the difference between A and B. Um, so M is also equal to, I just said, one third, the, one third of X, right? Scaled by a factor of one third. It's X scaled by the factor of one third. Bang, we've got that guy. So check, check. Solve for X. We have X equals 3M. And then we just eliminate M by um, substituting a minus b, and that's our answer, 3a minus b. That's it. Just think about it a little bit, and you push on through, everything's okay. We're, this is the exact sort of thing that we want to do, is be able to engage our brains a little bit, say, what about this, what about that? Bang, I've got an answer. So um, thank, you much for, thank you very much for li listening to this one. Um, I will... Um, do something related for the next one. So, uh, so you know, yeah, you know, maybe get a cup of coffee and um, relax a little bit and really get in the mood for that one. All right, I, I, th I think you really ought to be in the mood. Talk to you later.